let's dive into the unknown, where the vast majority of our planet's mysteries lie hidden beneath the deep and dark waters. While we've made incredible discoveries and explored far beneath the waves, countless enigmas remain, silently waiting in the depths. Today, we're on a mission to uncover the strangest and most bizarre secrets that the ocean has kept from us. From an 11-foot marble crucifix quietly resting on the seabed, to a rare World War II fighter plane that tells a story of heroism and history, we're revealing 15 unbelievable things found underwater. Number 15. World War II Plane Reflecting on the familiar adage that there are more aircraft in the ocean's depths than submarines in the skies, a groundbreaking revelation in 2018 shed light on a piece of World War II history hidden beneath the Coral Sea. Divers unveiled a rare aircraft resting nearly 3,000 meters below the surface, situated roughly 800 kilometers off Australia's eastern seaboard. The Battle of the Coral Sea, renowned as history's inaugural entirely airborne conflict, saw adversaries engage exclusively via aircraft, with ships launching attacks without ever coming into visual contact. The discovery of an aircraft that had partaken in this historic battle held profound significance. Among the wreckage was the USS Lexington, an aircraft carrier with a storied past. The divers also honored the memory of 216 U.S. soldiers and airmen who met their end during the Coral Sea conflict. This find underscores the pivotal role of modern sonar, seafloor mapping, and sophisticated submersibles in unearthing the ocean's secrets, enabling observations from the safety of the surface. Thanks to the courage of dedicated divers and the strides in technology, we've unlocked mysteries from the deep. As technology marches forward, we stand on the brink of uncovering even more forgotten tales ensconced in the ocean's embrace. Number 14. Amberjack Hole Located 30 miles off Sarasota, Florida's coast, the Amberjack Hole is an enigmatic blue hole with a rim lying about 112 feet below the water's surface, plunging down to 236 feet. This spot is tagged as an advanced dive site due to its depth and the distance from shore. If the ocean already gives you the creeps, what comes next might heighten your apprehension. Picture this. The ocean floor occasionally opens up, swallowing sections of itself, much like how sinkholes on land engulf homes in Florida. These marine chasms, known as blue holes, remain largely mysterious to us. While they are often teeming with a rich array of underwater flora and fauna, our knowledge about what else lurks within them, their numbers, or their locations is still quite limited. Despite this, the quest for understanding continues, and perhaps we're on the brink of uncovering more secrets about these blue holes. Number 13. 11-foot marble crucifix. This haunting yet incredible marble crucifix, weighing 1,800 pounds and standing 11 feet tall, first caught the internet's attention in 2019. You might be surprised to learn where it's situated. This remarkable sculpture is hidden under roughly 20 feet of water and ice, located about 800 feet from the shore in Little Traverse Bay, near Petoskey. Anyone equipped with scuba gear can effortlessly encounter this life-size depiction of Jesus Christ on the cross. Its eerie appearance suits the story behind it perfectly. The crucifix was crafted in Italy in 1956 by a grieving family who had lost their 15-year-old son in a tragic gun accident. Unfortunately, when the statue was shipped to their church, it was clear that it hadn't withstood the journey well, suffering from noticeable damage, including a broken arm. Believing it no longer suitable to memorialize their son, the family sold it to a local diver from the Superior Marines Divers Club in 1962. The statue was then placed 65 feet underwater to commemorate a diver who had sadly died in Torch Lake. Over time, the crucifix's purpose expanded to memorialize all who have perished at sea. More than two decades later, it was relocated closer to shore, where it remains to this day. Number 12. Tired Graveyard Coral reefs play a crucial role in the well-being of our planet, supporting over half a billion people who rely on them for food, protection, and income. These reefs are vital ecosystems for marine life and serve as natural barriers, diminishing the force of waves against coastlines. With more than 3 billion people dependent on the world's oceans, the absence of reefs would have a catastrophic impact globally. In response to their importance, efforts are being made to preserve coral reefs and minimize pollution in our oceans. However, a disheartening site exists off the coast of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where thousands of tires lie underwater. This area, intended to be the Osborne Reef, was part of an innovative yet ill-fated project that sought to create an artificial reef using discarded tires. The idea was that these tires would provide new habitats for marine life. Unfortunately, the project did not foster biodiversity as hoped, but instead caused further environmental harm. Recognizing the adverse effects, the United States military embarked on an initiative to remove the tires, 
turning the operation into a dive and rescue training exercise. As of 2009, only 73,000 out of the initially dumped 2 million tires have been retrieved, leaving around 700,000 still polluting the Osborne Reef. The Osborne Reef project is not unique. Other attempts to create artificial reefs with tires in Indonesia, Malaysia, Australia, and Africa have similarly resulted in negative outcomes rather than the anticipated benefits. Number 11. World War II Silver In 2013, a British-led diving team accomplished the deepest salvage operation recorded in history. The shipwreck, discovered in 2011 roughly 300 miles off the coast of Ireland, presented a formidable challenge for recovery, deeper and more difficult to access than even the Titanic. The team employed an underwater robot to initially survey the wreck, aiming to retrieve remnants of a British merchant ship lost during World War II. Their efforts unearthed an astonishing haul, 61 tons of silver valued around $36 million. Extracting the 1,574 silver ingots from the deep was a monumental task, yet immensely rewarding. The ship, named Gersapa, was en route from India to Liverpool, England, carrying crucial cargo including tea, iron, and notably, the precious silver ingots. Adverse weather and a coal shortage forced the steamship to detach from its convoy near the Irish coast, where it was swiftly targeted and sunk by a torpedo. Number 10. Cannons of Pirate Blackbeard Many of us are familiar with tales of pirates, including the infamous fictional character Blackbeard. Yet, it may come as a surprise to learn that Blackbeard was a real figure from history. Edward Teach, better known as Blackbeard, was a feared English pirate who navigated the Caribbean seas during the early 18th century a period often referred to as the Golden Age of Piracy. His ship, the Queen Anne's Revenge, became almost as legendary as the man himself. Despite the often romanticized portrayal of pirates in fiction, Blackbeard and his crew are not remembered for commendable deeds. It's said he had up to 14 wives and was always armed with an array of weapons, ready for battle. Witnesses of his ferocity in combat likened him to the devil himself. Though his legacy may be controversial, artifacts associated with Blackbeard hold significant historical value, including a 300-year-old cannon known as C-13. This cannon, about 8 feet long and weighing 2,000 pounds, was discovered by divers who hadn't anticipated finding such a remarkable piece of piracy history. Covered in sand, barnacles, and shells, the cannon's unveiling drew considerable attention. Eventually, it was safely recovered, offering a tangible connection to the legendary pirate and his era. Number 9. Crusader Sword. Scuba diving is always an adventure, filled with unexpected discoveries beneath the waves. In 2021, a diver off the coast of Israel made an astonishing find while exploring. He unearthed a three-foot Crusader Sword, alongside other historical treasures like pottery shards, ancient anchors, and various relics. These items span from the 11th to the 13th centuries. The sword, despite its 900 years underwater, is a remarkable discovery. Covered in a thick incrustation of shells and sediment, it may not immediately catch the eye. Yet, this coating, accumulated over centuries, has protected the blade underneath, preserving it in almost perfect condition. The sword, about a meter long with a 30-centimeter hilt, hidden within its sedimentary shell, remains a testament to its era. Discovering underwater relics, particularly items as significant as this sword, is always thrilling. Centuries ago, this now sediment-coated sword was a formidable weapon wielded by a knight, a tangible link to a past filled with battles for deeply held beliefs. Number 8. Underwater Steam Engine The steam locomotive marks a pivotal invention in our history, acting as a beacon of progress, propelling us forward by enabling the swift and efficient transportation of people and commodities alike. In 2013, a remarkable discovery was made off the coast of New Jersey, an underwater train graveyard. Archaeologists unearthed not just one, but two exceptionally rare locomotives from the 1850s, both in astonishingly good condition despite lying beneath 90 feet of water for a century or more. This find sent waves of excitement through enthusiasts and scholars, though it also raised many questions among historians and researchers. The mystery of how these trains found their final resting place beneath the sea remains unsolved. There's no documentation of their loss at sea, nor of any transport mishaps that might explain their underwater location. Speculation suggests they might have been aboard a ship and swept away during a severe storm, yet the absence of any recorded loss raises intriguing questions. Could this discovery point to a long-forgotten accident, a slip in the records by a worker long ago? It seems even the deep sea can't keep secrets forever. Number 7. Underwater Crop Circles You might already be familiar with crop circles, those mysterious designs that appear overnight in fields, 
once rumored to be the work of aliens. But as it turns out, these formations are not extraterrestrial but often the creations of highly skilled human artists. Now, take that curiosity underwater. Imagine discovering similar intricate patterns on the ocean floor. The first of these underwater crop circles were spotted in 1995 off southern Japan's coast, sparking widespread intrigue. These formations weren't localized, leading to a wave of sightings by divers across the globe. The puzzle remained unsolved for years until 2011 when the real artists were revealed. Not divers or mystic forces, but male puffer fish. It's a bit of a shock, but these fish, no longer than six inches, craft these complex patterns to impress potential mates. Male puffers dedicate seven to nine days to circle construction, swimming in and out to create the rings and using their fins to sculpt the sand into detailed patterns. They even adorn the circle's peaks with shells and coral fragments. The centerpiece of this elaborate construction serves as a nest, attracting female puffers. It's a rather elaborate and frankly adorable mating ritual. Number six, underwater temple garden. Nestled off the coast of Pemuterin, Bali, an underwater spectacle known as the Tamanpura or Garden Temple came into the global spotlight in 2019. This submerged sanctuary initially set the world abuzz, many mistaking it for a 5,000-year-old archaeological wonder lost to volcanic eruptions and the gradual encroach of the sea. The hauntingly beautiful images that swept through social media painted a picture of an ancient civilization's remnants, hidden beneath the waves, ready to tell tales of yore. The allure of uncovering a long-lost piece of human history drew eyes from around the globe. Yet, the truth behind the underwater temple garden unravels a narrative no less captivating than the myths that preceded it. Far from being a relic of a bygone era, Tamanpura is a relatively recent creation, born from the vision and dedication of Australian expatriate Chris Brown, a resident of Pemuterin, and his collaborator, Paul Turley. This artistic endeavor was conceived not only as a means to enrich the underwater landscape, but also as an innovative strategy to boost local tourism, inviting divers from around the world to explore the man-made marvels beneath the sea. The creation of Tamanpura was a deliberate effort to blend artistic expression with environmental conservation. By introducing grand statues and other structures to the seabed, Brown and Turley effectively laid the foundation for a living underwater temple one that would not only fascinate human visitors but also serve as a haven for marine life. The project turned an area of the ocean floor into a bustling hub of biodiversity, where coral reefs could thrive and fish could find sanctuary among the statuesque figures of deities and mythical creatures, silently overseeing their aquatic domain. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. This image comes to us courtesy of a viewer, just like you. If you're ever curious about a picture you've stumbled upon, feel free to send it our way. You never know, it might just be featured in one of our segments. So, here's a fascinating tale from one of our viewers about a lakeside fishing adventure involving a young woman. While engrossed in fishing, she unexpectedly reeled in something quite remarkable. Luckily, the moment was caught on camera, revealing a gigantic reptilian creature. This sparked wild speculation among our audience, with guesses ranging from a hybrid dragon frog, a camouflaged kodo, to a creature straight out of a science fiction movie. The young woman, initially dubious, was amazed to see her unique catch immortalized in the photo. Now, we're inviting you to join in on the fun and let your imagination run wild. Do you think it was a being from another planet, a character out of a sci-fi saga, or maybe a kin of legendary swamp dwellers? Drop your thoughts in the comments. The intrigue around the photograph has only grown, with some viewers suggesting it could be an undiscovered species, sparking debates among cryptozoology enthusiasts. Others humorously propose that it's simply Mother Nature's latest prank, a testament to her endless surprises. The possibility of a new aquatic discovery has excited scientists and adventurers alike, eager to explore these uncharted waters further. This unexpected encounter not only highlights the mystery of our natural world, but also the thrill of fishing you never truly know what you might pull from the depths. So, let's keep the conversation going. What's your wildest theory about the mysterious creature captured in this unforgettable moment? Number 5. Yanaguni Monument Unveiled in the mid-1980s by a keen-eyed scuba diver near Yanaguni Island, Japan, an underwater rock formation has since captivated the curiosity and sparked debates among the academic community about its origins and purpose. The structure, a rectangular monument stretching over 165 feet long and approximately 65 feet wide, stands out starkly against the backdrop of natural marine formations due to its pronounced straight lines, precise angles, and peculiar markings that hint at deliberate carvings. This enigmatic edifice has led many to theorize that it might be a man-made stepped pyramid, a testament to human ingenuity submerged beneath the waves. 
The theories surrounding the Yanaguni monument are varied and rich in imagination. Some researchers propose that it could be the remnants of an ancient, submerged city, perhaps a dwelling place for a civilization that met its demise over 5,000 years ago. This speculation is not without precedent. The discovery of other ancient, underwater edifices in regions like Bai and Rome lends credence to the possibility of submerged urban landscapes. The allure of uncovering a lost civilization, hidden beneath the ocean's surface for millennia, fuels ongoing research and exploration. However, despite the romantic appeal of such theories, hard evidence directly linking the Yanaguni monument to a specific ancient city or civilization remains elusive. An alternative explanation suggests that the monument's formation is the result of natural geological processes. The Earth's tectonic movements, coupled with the erosive power of underwater currents, could conceivably sculpt such a structure over countless years, creating the illusion of intention where none exists. The peculiar holes and abrasions observed on the monument, previously thought to be markings or carvings, may indeed be the work of nature's relentless force. Yet, the Yanaguni monument continues to be an object of fascination and wonder. Its origins, whether as a product of human craftsmanship or a masterpiece sculpted by the natural world, offer a tantalizing mystery that invites exploration and interpretation. Number 4. Hunting Camp. Nestled off the coast of Itlit in Israel, an ancient Neolithic settlement dating back between 8,900 to 8,300 years old beckons historians and archaeologists alike. This settlement, known as Itlit Yam, presents the earliest known instance of an agropastoral marine system. Here, a community thrived millennia ago, balancing agriculture, livestock raising, and the harvests of the sea. Diving into the underwater ruins, researchers have unearthed rectangular homes, a well, and numerous artifacts, including a poignant human skeleton. However, the most striking feature of Itlit Yam is a semicircular arrangement of seven massive megaliths, each weighing 1,300 pounds. These stones, marked with cup-shaped indentations, encircle a freshwater spring, hinting at ancient water rituals and further underscoring the inhabitants' reliance on a blend of agricultural, pastoral, and marine resources. Over time, seawater infiltration rendered the well's water saline, gradually compelling the community to abandon their homes. The relentless rise of seawater eventually claimed the settlement, submerging it beneath the waves. In 2014, scuba diving researchers uncovered a remarkable site beneath Lake Huron's surface an intricate network of hunting blinds and animal herding structures dating back approximately 9,000 years. During this era, Lake Huron's water levels were significantly lower, by about 250 feet, revealing a land bridge across the lake. This discovery illustrates the sophisticated hunting strategies employed by our ancestors. They constructed linear stone lanes and V-shaped enclosures to guide and trap migrating caribou herds across the land bridge. This ancient community adeptly adjusted the configuration of their hunting camps with the changing seasons, showcasing an intimate understanding of their environment and the animals they depended on for survival. Number 3. Lit Yam. Nestled off the coast of Itlit in Israel, an ancient Neolithic settlement, dating back between 8,900 and 8,300 years, offers a fascinating glimpse into early human civilization. This settlement, known as Itlit Yam, stands as a testament to the earliest known evidence of an integrated agro-pastoral marine system. Here, a community once thrived, masterfully balancing the art of agriculture, livestock raising, and the harvesting of the sea's bounty. Underwater archaeology has revealed the remnants of this sophisticated society, including the foundations of rectangular houses, a well, and an array of artifacts, among which is a human skeleton. However, the crown jewel of Itlit Yam is its mysterious stone semicircle, comprising seven megaliths, each weighing a staggering 1,300 pounds. Carved into each stone are cup marks, all arranged around a freshwater spring. This arrangement suggests that water rituals, perhaps to celebrate or summon the essential element of water, were a part of this community's spiritual life, further highlighting the inhabitants' deep connection not only to the land and livestock but to the sea as well. Over time, this harmonious balance faced its ultimate challenge. The well's water, once a source of life, became tainted with seawater, making it undrinkable. This contamination likely pressured the settlement's inhabitants to abandon their homes. Gradually, as the sea level rose, it claimed the entirety of Itlitiam, submerging the settlement and sealing it away, only to be rediscovered thousands of years later, offering a silent narrative of human resilience, ingenuity, and the ever-changing relationship with our natural world. Number 2. Christ of the Abyss Stumbling upon statues beneath the waves can be an otherworldly experience 
particularly when confronted with the awe-inspiring sight of a nine-foot-tall bronze statue of Christ, gracefully positioned twenty-five feet under the sea. This initial encounter might leave you taken aback, enveloped in a mix of surprise and wonder. Yet, as you acclimate to the underwater spectacle, the statue's hauntingly beautiful presence, known as the Christ of the Abyss, beckons you closer, inviting you to marvel at its serene and silent grandeur. This iconic bronze figure made its descent into the aquatic realm off the coast of Key Largo, Florida, on the memorable day of August 25, 1965, becoming a sanctuary of peace nestled in the ocean's embrace. Weighing in at about 260 kilograms and secured atop a hefty nine-ton concrete pedestal, it stands as a sentinel of the deep. The Christ of the Abyss is but one of a trio of similar statues cast from the same mold, each with its own story, submerged in different parts of the world's vast oceans. Another of these remarkable sculptures found its home in the Mediterranean Sea on August 22, 1954, predating its Floridian counterpart, while a third was gently laid to rest in the crystal-clear waters of Granada in 1961. Together, these statues form an invisible triangle of faith and beauty across the globe, each offering a unique opportunity to reflect on the profound bond between humanity and the marine environment. Far more than mere objects of visual admiration, these sculptures carry a deeper significance. They serve as a reminder of the sacred, bridging the celestial and the aquatic, and beckoning to the observer a sense of quiet introspection and connection. They stand as guardians of the depths, embodying a tranquil coexistence with the marine life that flourishes around them, and inviting divers to ponder the mysteries that lie beneath the surface of our world. Number 1. Artifacts in the Wreckage of RMS Titanic Dubbed the Ship of Dreams, the RMS Titanic set sail on its maiden voyage on April 10, 1912, embodying the height of luxury and engineering of its time. It was marketed as the grand, unsinkable Titanic, a marvel of human achievement. However, its very first journey also became its tragic finale. When the Titanic met its fate in the icy waters of the North Atlantic, it wasn't just the loss of a ship, but a catastrophic event that claimed the lives of 1,500 of the 2,240 souls on board. Today, the legacy of the Titanic lives on, not just in stories and films, but through the artifacts that rest in its underwater grave, each piece telling a unique story from a time long past. Among the many poignant relics recovered from the ocean's depths is an old violin, shrouded in tales of heroism and heartbreak. This wasn't just any instrument. It belonged to Wallace Hartley, the band leader who, alongside his musicians, reportedly played on as the ship sank, their music offering a final, haunting farewell. The discovery of Hartley's violin, despite its battered state, captivated the world, selling for an astonishing $1.7 million at a UK auction in 2013. This violin, more than an artifact, serves as a symbol of the human spirit's resilience and the power of music to bring solace in the darkest of times. Another remarkable find was the menu from the Titanic's Last Supper, offering a glimpse into the world of luxury that the first-class passengers enjoyed on their final night. Sold at auction for $83,000 in 2012, the menu listed an opulent array of dishes such as eggs argentai, chicken lyonnaise, oysters, cream of barley soup, poached salmon with mousseline sauce, and cucumbers. This menu stands as a testament to the era's culinary sophistication, contrasting sharply with the simpler fare provided to third-class passengers. It reflects the social disparities of the time, yet in the face of tragedy, such distinctions would prove meaningless. These artifacts, and countless others retrieved from the Titanic's resting place, are not mere objects. They are the bearers of stories, echoes of lives lived and lost. They remind us of the Titanic's enduring mystique, a ship that, even in its silent, watery tomb, continues to fascinate and move us. As we uncover more relics from the Titanic, each piece adds to the tapestry of human history, offering insights and stirring emotions, a poignant reminder of the ship that embarked on a voyage into eternity.